Right, as Miller mentioned, we do want to welcome our viewers that are joining us from Missoula this morning. That is where we are starting. Damage assessment and cleanup is underway in western Montana. Northwestern Energy reporting massive power outages across the Missoula and Bitterroot Valleys. As Miller said, uh, winds as high as 100 miles an hour. We're taking a look at all of that damage this morning as we go live to our Missoula weather caster from our friends over at KPAX, Danny Hollows. We, it's a little bit lighter now, Danny, so we can see really well what kind of storm damage we're looking at, right? Yeah, I mean, we're just starting to get daylight here, Andrea, and we've got something to show you here. We've had reports come in last night and through the night overall that down power lines were on top of cars. People were trapped inside, and this kind of gives you a look of what that might be like if that was you. Take a look at this. We've got one car here in this neighborhood completely covered by where this tree has just snapped in half over here. But this is not all. Let me take you over here. You think this is just one car under this tree, but no, enough fell down. Here is car number two, just right here. So this is how powerful those winds were last night. This is just one part of this neighborhood. I mean, if we can turn to the roof here as well, you might be able to catch a glimpse of just how far that shingle has blown off and that looks like metal too. So these gusty winds were strong, but just a few more things to note for you here as we continue to assess the damage. Like you said, if you are one of those people that's got something trapped under a tree or a down power line, please call it in. Do not try to take care of it by yourself. We've also had a lot of reports lately within the last several hours of folks who are without oxygen tanks and need that to be able to breathe. If that is you and you're joining us from somewhere where you've got power and you can be uh, watching this right now, you need to head to the hospital. They've got generators there and they can take care of you. But overall, this is going to be, I think, sort of a tough next few hours for us here in Missoula and surrounding areas. If you're watching maybe from the flat head or the bitter root. Things might be looking a little bit better for you. We got sort of the brunt of that storm as Miller just showed you with that radar here right in central west central Montana. And this is just one part of it. We've seen a lot of this everywhere. So we'll continue to give you a few more updates throughout the morning. For now, I'll send it back to you, Andrea. All right, Danny Hollows uh, reporting live for us uh, with all that destruction in Missoula. We'll check back with you in just a minute.